so Ruben Sim getting sued by Roblox. If you thought that wasn't enough, well, it looks like he's also being doxxed as of right now. We have some pretty crazy stuff to go over, but before we get into any of that, make sure you subscribe. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. We are less than 1K away, so make sure you go subscribe down below. But anyways, let's just get straight into this. So as we all know, Ruben Sim, he is definitely a very controversial person in the Roblox community. People have different opinions on him. If you're a furry, you probably dislike him. But overall, I think Ruben Sim has a lot of fair opinions. He definitely goes under the deep end sometime. But like, I'm like a big Ruben Sim fan, man. I've been watching this dude ever since Roblox Watch. I, I gotta say, I I'm just a big fanboy of the dude. But I will not let that bias me because I definitely think Ruben Sim has gone off the deep end at points. I definitely think he's now turning into a pretty controversial person. And it's honestly a little bit sad because at one point, everyone had this dude's back. But anyways, though, when you become a controversial person, you are bound to get haters. You're bound to get creeps and weirdos. And it looks like people, as of right now, are attempting to dox Ruben Sim, find out where he lives. Ruben Sim posted a tweet today and said, This guy posted a pic of what he thought was my house to try to intimidate me. And when he found out I don't actually live there, he said my parents sold it to pay for the lawsuit. Bro, that is so funny. So I think I figured out where this dude actually found that. So it was actually under the lawsuit when Ruben Sim got sued by Roblox, Roblox pretty much put out all of his information to the public. Including his full real name, which, I mean, has kind of been known for a long time. It had his address on there and loads of other personal information. But now, because Roblox put all of this information out to the public, people are now attempting to stalk and harass Ruben Sim, which is just crazy. I can definitely understand where you don't like a person, but I've never understand not liking a person and wanting to find out what their actual real-life information is. Like, bro, it doesn't even concern you. What are you gonna do finding out Ruben Sim's address? Like, it's just creepy and weird like you're a weird person if you do stuff like this but i think it's even funnier considering the fact that this isn't actually where he lives so as ruben stated he doesn't actually live there and like the funny thing is the house is like in kentucky though i think it's kentucky it's somewhere on the east coast now i don't want to dox where ruben civil actually lives because i i mean it is public information he stated it in numerous videos and he also has it on some of his social medias but i don't want to say it out just in case you know this isn't something you really want wants to be broadcasted to the world but the house stated in those court documents is literally thousands of miles away like i don't even know how roblox got that i don't know if his parents own it or something i don't know it's pretty funny though if you actually read some of these tweets like he replied to someone and he went in and said our respective parents were friends you can also see the sale docs if you were to look bro what do you mean this dude is literally stupid there's no other explanation for this but like bro you really didn't do anything you're not a detective you just went to some court documents and you found that Roblox just gave out his address to everybody. But I don't even think that's his address. I don't know whose address that is. But man, I swear, there's just all of these creeps and stalkers and weirdos on the internet. Like, bro, anonymity just sucks because you know this person is probably the biggest coward in real life. You know this dude's just typing away at his computer thinking that he's a part of Anonymous. I'm a part of the Insane Anonymous group. Do not mess with me. I have your address, Ruby. Ruben Sim. If you know, you know. Ha <laughs> ha I bet you this dude has like synapse installed and thinks he's like an insane hacker. But man, I don't understand the internet. There's just so many creeps and weirdos on it. Like even me, I just started my YouTube channel like two weeks ago. And bro, I'm already getting stalkers on Schlep. Like I'm already getting some weird people that are getting way too over personal to try to figure out every single detail about me. Like bro, I just commentate on Roblox news. But the thing is, I get people don't like Ruben Sim and that's your favorite opinion you can have whatever opinion you want on Ruben Sim but crossing these boundaries to where you're literally looking for his address and then you're like sending it to him to try to intimidate and just stalk Ruben Sim like that's so weird man you're a creep and you spend way too much time on the internet like you need to go outside you need to find some people go touch some grass I bet you it'll be a very nice experience for you but gamers I think we're coming to today's conclusion of this epic Roblox video if you guys like this commentary video make sure you go down below smash subscribe button and tell me all of your thoughts on this I, I just don't get this stuff man Th this stuff is just crazy but anyways gamers i think this is gonna be where i wrap up today's video i'll catch you guys in the next video bye everyone